advancement must come by faith and the application of faith if it didn't come through the application of faith or by faith it doesn't count in the kingdom of God it just doesn't count if you get your promotion by faith it counts if you get your promotion just by you know climbing on people or even just working hard is it okay to work hard yes it's okay to work hard but if work hard work got you the promotion and it didn't come by faith and application of faith it doesn't count in the kingdom of God does this make sense Amen. what saith it the word is nigh. is nigh thee even in thy mouth say in thy mouth, in thy mouth. The righteousness of faith speaks on this wise rich the word is nigh you it's in your mouth that's the righteousness of faith the righteousness of faith is you with God's Word in your mouth yep. the righteousness of faith is you with God's Word in your mouth yes. the righteousness of faith is you with God's Word in your mouth is there any other righteousness of faith no. there's no other righteousness of faith in this Bible without God's Word in your mouth you advance with your words are you here i'm hoping that you came here today and that you're here with me now you advance with your words or you don't advance yeah. so are you going to advance yes do you know how to advance i wish i went to church and he told me how to advance <laughs> i did you advance with your words you get faith through your words speaking out of your mouth that's the righteousness of faith is you saying God's Word yeah. when you're not saying God's Word guess what that's not the righteousness of faith that's, right. that's you doing nothing yeah. and you get upset at me when I go you're doing nothing you are nothing but then you begin to speak God's words guess what righteousness of faith what happens when you speak God's Word out your mouth you hear God's Word and faith comes by hearing God gave you everything you needed to succeed but you won't open up your mouth and do it I've told people I've done this in my life so many times and if I could get people to do it their life would change take a verse of scripture and put it in your mouth and say it all the promise say all the promises all, promise. all the promises of God are yes and amen in Christ Jesus yes. if you're in Christ you know and all the promises are for everybody because all because anybody can get in Christ Jesus that's, right. Hallelujah. that's the first promise whosoever will shall be saved call on the name of the Lord you're calling you're operating the righteousness of faith the first time then you get into kingdom and now all the promises are for you in Christ Jesus but you stopped at the door and stopped calling things that be not as though they were you stopped calling things wow. you called on the name of the Lord we well, start to keep keep calling what saith it the word is nigh you even in your mouth and in your heart that is the word of faith which we preach I am preaching the word of faith and you are hearing it and you are going to do it mm -hmm. yes. Yes. your advancement comes with your words you advance by what you say persevere in speaking salvation is in your mouth I wish I could get this over to people it's in your in your words in your speaking say speaking. speaking if you're not speaking you're not gonna get the things that salvation promises to you if you don't have them it's because you aren't speaking enough stay, stay there let me just finish this up where the heart man believes unto righteousness the mouth confession is made unto say with the mouth, with the mouth. Confession, the confession is made, is made unto. Unto. unto so that's open-ended you're gonna keep confessing unto until and I'll tell you right now you will be confessing it one day you'll go wait and why am I confessing that anymore it already happened yeah. that's the way it happens but you stop too soon 
listen yep. you stopped too soon you stopped too soon you wonder why it didn't happen you stopped too soon Come on. what'd you stop for persevere in speaking salvation is in your mouth you walk with God by saying you don't walk with God by thinking you don't walk with God by feeling I feel like God's with me today Ooh. do you have feelings sometimes that God is with you yeah. yes does it mean anything no it's not about feelings it's about words it's not about what you think it's about the words you say mark 11 22 says jesus answering said unto them have faith in god or have the god kind of faith or do it god's way yes. then he goes on to say whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed be thou cast into the sea shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe those things which he says shall come to pass he will have whatsoever he says he will have whatsoever he says he will have whatsoever he says, he says. He's the one that speaks to the mountain. He will have whatever he says. If you don't speak to the mountain, you're not going to have anything. And don't come crying to me, because I'll just tell you, you're not going to have anything. When you speak God's word, it makes it come to pass. Yeah. And people will, people will criticize you and say, oh, you're some Christian science, or you're some, you're some this or some that. You're some, you know, you're trying to manipulate things. No, I'm not. I'm speaking God's word out my mouth. And the function of me speaking out my word, out, his word out of my mouth, is righteousness of faith. Yes. And it makes the tree good. Yes. It makes the life good. It makes yes. things yes. good. Yes. You get it? Yes. I hope I'm bringing you up in faith in your words. Because all advancement must come by faith. And your advancement is with your words. You advance with your words and you can advance from wherever you are it doesn't matter where you are yep. right yeah. Yeah. I don't care if you're in the back or in the front you can still advance you can go forwards with your words yeah. if you take time to speak God's words the accomplishments will come to you they'll ride to you on the wings of heaven and they'll come to you and chirp and say here I am yeah. And you won't, you won't have to sit there and go, where'd you come from? Because you know where they came from. They came from heaven. And they came on your lips as you spoke them. And they, you called them. And they came. They listened. And they came to you. And they skipped right over your neighbor. Right over his car. And came into yours. Why is that? Because you've called him through faith. The righteousness of faith speaks. Yes. And those things come to pass quickly says the Lord the more accurately you speak my word and stop saying the things that are contrary to me we thank you father for it in Jesus name amen, amen.